All right, just a really quick update on what I'm doing here. Um, this is the floor I said I was gonna make out of plywood. These are gonna be the side doors or the side panels. But what I'm doing here is I'm about to use a jigsaw and I'm gonna cut right where these, right where these would go essentially. And uh, I'm gonna see if I can fit them so they go all the way back down and hit the metal. Um, I did cut holes down here. Not a great job uh, to get them to fit. So I can go from end to end. And yeah, so let me go do that real quick and we'll see how it looks. And then in the meantime, if you're following the DIY Powerwall uh, Facebook group, I built this battery real quick. It's a 21 volt battery from Battery Hookup. And right now I'm having this battery charge these guys again, because I'm gonna retest them just because I've moved them around so many times. So right now it's doing its thing at 30 amps. And uh, should be done in a few hours. Nah, probably five hours. But I'll go charge, dis excuse me, charge two of these. And then I will discharge one of these back into this guy. So. Uh, yeah, so as soon as that's done, I will come back with an update. In the meantime, I will be right back when I cut these and see if it works. All right. Okay, so we're out here. Um, I used a jigsaw to do this, but I couldn't really do it and uh, film at the same time. So this is basically what I... Get the light here. Is what I cut out. It's not beautiful. And to be very honest, I've never used a jigsaw before. <laughs> And then I did learn that the corners, I actually had to, uh, didn't matter to cut those little holes in it because it was going to go through it anyway. But I did it there, over here, just held it down with a couple clamps, and the same thing over here. And these just kind of have cutouts. I mean, they're not beautiful, but they work. All right, now let's go try to make this the floor, and I will bring it over there, see if it fits. And uh, yeah, all right. All right, so this is it. I got it back in the server rack here. You can see how it's just kind of cut out. And what we'll do, go ahead and grab a pole. Let's see if I can do this with the camera as well. <laughs> Terrible job, but bam fit right in there uh, it should and then what I'll do is after I put all four of them in um, I'll go ahead and make sure that they line up with the holes down there up here and it actually looks like it already does so yeah looks like this worked I'll go ahead and put the rest of them on and uh, come right back Okay, well, that worked out. I mean, it's not professionally lined up, but we're never using a jigsaw before. I think that came out pretty well. So I lose like, what is it? Maybe one full one, not even, but that's it. And they all fit. I'm only kind of doing them slowly just to make sure I got it. But that is it. And then still we'll eventually have to get these shelves back on. These are the side panels. And these are the sideboards. So what I'm going to do is, and I'm not going to pretend like I cut these. I went to Home Depot and got these cut. I'm going to use the jigsaw on that guy. <laughs> but uh, what I'm going to do is put these as side panels. And those will go right here, right over here. And then I have a back panel, which will be the one, clearly the one behind it. <laughs> so I'll go ahead and try to get those to fit. And then that is about as far as I can go today. But uh, yeah, we'll see what it looks like. All right, and uh, really quickly, just an update of what I'm doing over here with the battery. I am now discharging these guys and again, they're not going to look beautiful right now, but this one's still going. 
19 hours in basically a 30 amp discharge and we're at 576 so this one's been done before and last time i got 649 i've been moving these packs around all over the place so i kind of want to just go ahead and retest them all again just to make sure uh, nothing uh nothing went wrong when they're when i was moving all of them so again that's a pack i built uh, a couple days ago um battery hookup with the plates and everything like that but um yeah i like it and after this it'll just be a camping battery but it is basically going to charge and discharge each one of these just going down the line as they're the ready and again some of them have already been tested but i'm testing them again but back to what i'm doing with the cabinet so this is what i have now luckily the side panels fit perfectly and this is what it looks like a little bit of space in between but i'm not gonna worry about that what i'm planning to do to get the 10 kilowatt um pure sine wind inver inverter uh from ames is to basically just put two by fours going down here and here uh, and that'll hold it because the the rack behind it will hold it and then also it lines up perfectly with the second one. I did the, I already measured it. So I can, thinking I can put something through here as well to give it extra strength. Um, yeah, cause it's 150 pounds. Uh, I looked this server rack up and it can hold up to 2000 pounds. So I think just doing my kind of guesstimation, it should hold it, I should have more than enough to be okay. But um, yeah, so I'm thinking with the sides, I can have the Batrium, uh, I can have the, maybe the switch or the, I'm sorry, the, <laughs> the red button, <laughs> uh, the, just basically to turn off um, the positive side. I'm just blanking right now. Uh, but anyway, that's it. Uh, now I at least have a canvas to where I can work off. I do have my, oh, let me see if I can, well, I'll just do it this way. This is my MPPT um, solar controller. Uh, it's got Bluetooth, Victron. I know everybody likes Victron. It's uh, the quality. That's why. But yeah, that's going to go somewhere here. I'm thinking more up top. And then just have the uh, the breakers right here. And then find a way to maybe go have it come out this way. So I can essentially, if need be, just completely detach the solar. But again, that's just an idea. But yeah, and again, the Tesla power or the wall charger will go about here. And the inverter will go down there. So I'm going to see if I can fit it all. I mean, I got to measure it. And I'm going to think about it. If you guys have any ideas, let me know. But um, yeah, that is where I'm at now. Now it's back to building more packs <laughs> while I think of what to do here. All right. Thanks, guys. Oh. Really quickly, this is just uh, the back side of it. I kind of forgot to show you this. So this is what it'll look like in the back. And what I'll do is before I mount this uh, back panel... I'll have the shelves slide right in between here. I'll drill a hole through here and I have longer um, screws that can go through both of these and the wood. So we should be fine there. And that should also help hold it down. And I don't know if I want to paint it or not. It kind of looks nice like this, but um, yeah, I might paint it black or I don't know. What do you guys think? All right. <laughs> All right. Thanks guys. Bye.